everybody. Happy New Year. I hope you had an awesome night last night and you're having a wonderful day today. So welcome to Ask Lois. If you haven't watched me before, this is where you have a chance to chime in with any questions you have related to health or exercise. So my first question today is what's the best time to work out? And I say whatever time you're going to do it. You know, at the end of the day, if you're not gonna take the time for yourself, then you're not gonna take the time for yourself. So if you have a specific time of day that you'd like to work out, do it then, but get it in. That's, that's the most important thing. As long as you get it in, you're really good to go. The next question I have is, how much does it cost to hire your personal trainers? And when I got this question, I was like, hmm, that's kind of personal. I was thinking about it. Do I even answer that on the air? But I thought it would be a good question just to, to answer because I thought, you know, the exact amount I'm really unsure of. I had to kind of think about that for a while. But we do look about, we, I look at about 20 resumes and I interview about one or two out of those 20. So each one of those takes me, you know, a few minutes to, to look at and go from that. And then our interview is four parts, including a practical assessment and of course a background check because I want to make sure everybody is safe coming into someone's home and they're not a criminal or anything like that. So the approximate cost, I really don't know, um, but it does, it does take me probably about maybe 15 hours or so to find a new trainer, maybe even 20 hours, depending on the time of the year that I'm looking for someone. But our trainers stay for a really long time unless they move. So it's really good to know that the people that are on my team are not only thoroughly vetted, but that they've been on the team for a while. So uh, the next question I have is, do you charge by the hour or do you have packages? So I know that it's the new year. We do have two different packages. We have monthly package where you get to pay monthly or a block. So for somebody that just wants to get started and then do it on their own eventually, we can, we can help with either of those. So um, our smallest package, I think it's like 12 sessions. So if you wanna do less than that, really, really it's gonna depend on the person, but very rarely do we sell single sessions. Uh, we do have a couple clients that live out of state so when they come to New Jersey and they want to jump in for a couple of sessions, we allow them to do that um, at whatever rate that they were when they left New Jersey. Our next question today is, what's the best type of exercises for seniors? So I'm assuming you meant senior citizens. So I'm going to go with that, that area. So, so when you think about a person who is older and your body changes as we, as we age and we start to lose muscle, so we can increase that muscle by doing weight training. So I definitely recommend weight training, but I also recommend a lot of functional movements. So it's really important that when you, actually, this is good for anyone, but especially people that are in, in their 60s and 70s and 80s, you wanna be mindful that if you sit a lot during the day, you have to stand and then sit again and then stand and sit again. So squats are really good as like a, one exercise that I'm a big fan of, and you don't have to do them with weight, just body weight is good. Um, anything that requires sitting um, and standing, that's great, but reaches, twists, things that you do on a regular basis. So when you're pulling groceries out of the car, you pick up the groceries and you carry them in. If you did that in repetition, that's good. So you could do that, we call that a carry um, or a squat and a press reaching overhead because when you're putting groceries away or when you're twisting you're picking things up and putting them down so be mindful that you want to make sure that you're doing a variety of different movements and that's good for everyone but especially your seniors because i want to make sure that that they're taking the time for themselves to make sure that they're doing the right things on a day-to-day -day. so the next question we have is what's the best thing to eat after a workout now i love this question but you just eat something that's a variety of different kinds of things. So complex carbohydrate, some kind of fat, some kind of protein, that combination of food is gonna help you make sure that you are putting the good nutrients back into your body after you work out. The next question is how soon before I see some progress? Well, it's gonna depend on how physically active you are on a day to day. So if you only work out three hours a week, there's 168 hours in the week, yes? There's a lot of them. So if you think about it like that and you're only working out three and then you sit six, seven, eight hours a day, you wanna to try to add some more movement to that, but that's gonna affect how quickly you're seeing 
your changes, as well as your dietary needs. So if you're not meeting the correct dietary needs that you have to have on a regular basis, that's gonna affect it as well. And then lastly, your mental state. If your mental state is not in a place of being focused on what you're driving towards as far as a goal is concerned, you wanna make sure that that's in place as well. So in order to see progress, you have to make changes in all, all things, including physical activity and your dietary needs as well as, of course, your mental needs as well. Um, also people, excuse me, people will not always see results very quickly. You'll start to see and feel differences in about three weeks, but most of the time you're not gonna see the changes physically in your body until about three months. So hang in there, get going, keep it going, and eventually you'll start to see the changes that you're looking for. And the next question I have is, do you recommend any specific in-home workouts? Well, every workout is gonna be different and every workout should be different. So it should be based on your goals. So I say, start with the destination first, think about where you're going, where you're headed to, and then work out specifically related to that. And if you don't know what that is, even if you don't work out with us on an ongoing basis, we could come out to do an assessment to talk to you about what those goals could be and then we can work back from there. So that's another option if you, if you don't wanna have a personal trainer coming to your house ongoing and you just wanna work out on your own, but you wanna get really clear on why you're doing it in the first place, we can help you with that as well. The next question I have is, should I work out when I'm stressed? And my, my answer is, why wouldn't you want to work out when you're stressed? Um, when you think about being mentally exhausted and feeling like you have a fear of your future, Oftentimes, that's related to anxiety and stress and anger and frustration and all the feelings that we have. All emotions are good emotions, by the way. But be mindful that if you're going to exercise, it's going to increase endorphins. So when you in release endorphins through the body, the endorphins start to make you feel better and you get a little bit of a natural high. So if you do that regularly, the high will last and then you'll feel better overall. And when you feel better on the inside, and on the outside together, then you get your goals a lot faster. So I hope those were really, really helpful for all of you and happy new year. Cheers to a 2020. I hear that this year is supposed to be the year of abundance. So I'm excited for that and I hope you're excited for that. So take the time for yourself, be, lo be loving and caring to yourself so that when you think about the stressors that you're facing during the day to day, that you are more productive and that you don't take those frustrations and anger out on your family and friends and your pets and the world around you. Everything will get better and better if you take a change and you make those changes for yourself on the day to day. So I have one other question. Do we have a website? Yes, we do have a website. It's called uh, it's www.fitnesscoaching llc.com. I'll put it in the, uh, in the comments section. And if you have any other questions, feel free to email us. Um, it, the email address, we'll, get, we'll put that in. It's a special email address that's sent to my website person. And uh, you guys have a great rest of your day and I'll see you guys next week. All right, bye guys. Have a great one.